Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today here we have this Mustang. We're gonna be installing another airlift three-piece system on this car. This is a 2015-16 Mustang, I believe, and it already has a lot of modifications to it. It is a track pack, as you could see, it has all the leather interior. Um, really nice Mustang. Uh, his wife got him the airlift three-piece system for Christmas, and we're gonna go ahead and install it. This is the last airlift install we're gonna be doing on 2019. Uh, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so. This is the last one for 2019. We're gonna see what else, uh, what we're gonna do for 2020. Uh, but yeah, check out his Mustang. We're gonna be doing his air lift 3P system. And as you guys know, we're gonna be removing everything in the suspension, stock struts. Uh, Manny's already getting started on that. Uh, and then we're gonna get started on uh, removing the stock suspension and then removing his interior in order to get all the, all the uh, air lift kit in there, as you guys know. And bam, it's done. We just started yesterday. Uh, the entire airlift kit is already installed. Uh, there's a tank, the management system. His compressor is mounted underneath, as you can see right there. You can see his uh, compressor. Uh, he's still able to keep everything down underneath. His uh, tire repair kit that comes in from factory with the foam piece that holds the center piece up top. He's able to keep all that. He doesn't remove any of it. Um, Right now we just put the car down, so it's currently at about 110 PSI per side. We also installed the RTR front sway bar. Um, I forgot to record that, but we got that installed for him since we were already down there uh, removing his uh, his end links and stuff like that. So we just went ahead and pulled out the sway bar and got that sw swapped out for him. Right. Uh, we still have to install his steering wheel. So he has a aftermarket steering wheel that we're going to be installing, which is this one right here. As you can see, it's a, it's a little thicker than the uh, OEM one, and it has a flat bottom. Now right, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. We gotta unplug the battery, and uh, yeah, start removing everything, and pretty much everything over to this wheel. Um, and then yeah, you guys are gonna see me do that. But yeah, other than that, everything is pretty much done. Uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and just take the car out for a drive real quick. We already leak tested. We left the car um, leak testing overnight. Everything came out perfect nothing's leaking um but yeah right now we're gonna go ahead take the car out take some pictures finish up the steering wheel manny's working up the wheel and call this one a day all right guys so we got the uh battery disconnected two of the first thing you're gonna have to do is remove the airbag um and to remove the airbag you have <clears throat> two holes on the sides two small holes uh you gotta pretty much poke a little pin that's in there that way that bags that you would get popped off it's pretty much just held on with those two clips on the two sides once i get it off i'll go ahead and show you how the mechanism works it just pops out of place like this so pretty much what you're trying to do is you have the two clips right here you have this little silver one here and then you have another one exactly the same on the other side so what you're doing is you're putting your pick in from the side over here and you can see the pick is coming in down here and what you're doing is pretty much poking this little arm right here and you want to push this arm over to the side um so let me get a grip on it so right there and you can see that i'm pushing this little arm to the side that way this little clip on the bag um go ahead and just slides out once you got that you're gonna have a few uh connections you're gonna have to remove one is this One of them is this top one right here. So you're gonna go ahead and slide this clip up. Go ahead and push the little pin down and then you pull it out. So there you go. You pull the tab up and you go ahead and you push this little plastic tab right here. And then the clip goes and slides out. Uh, for the other two, you wanna go ahead, as you can see, they have a little orange clip on the top. You wanna go ahead and pop that out. So you wanna get your clip. So you want to get your little pick and uh, go ahead and poke those and go ahead and just pop them up. Once you pop them up, the uh, entire clip pretty much comes out of place. This is what holds it in. There's one and there's the other one. So as you can see, got the uh, yellow one out and then the black one on this side. These, these are color coded, so 
as you can see the black goes with the black, the yellow goes with the yellow. And then you can go ahead and remove the uh, airbag. Put it out the way. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the 24mm socket. And it's not on that tight uh, impact gun. gun just gets it out pretty quickly. Um, without having to put any force onto the steel wheel or anything like that. But yeah, you want to go ahead and get this 24mm bolt out. And once this is off, the whole steering wheel pretty much just lights out. You just wiggle it. And you want to carefully remove all the cables. Make sure nothing gets pulled. Once you go, all right. So once you go ahead and get the steering wheel out, you're going to go ahead and unclip it from back here. So you're going to push this tab down. Pull this gray clip out, as you can see. And then these two come out of the steering wheel and stay there. Uh, you want to make sure you keep this in this position don't turn it because there's uh, ribbon cables in there they're coiled up and if you turn it you're going to tear those um, and then you're going to have to replace this piece so make sure you don't remove or so make sure you do not spin this keep this in this position um, and yeah pretty much steering was out we're going to go ahead and go ahead and take it out here here is the aftermarket steering wheel next to it. Um, and yeah, as you can see, this is the difference between the two. This one has the flat bottom, as you can see right here. And this is just the OEM round leather wheel. Um, but yeah, what we have to do is go ahead and transfer all these plastic uh, pieces and all the uh, buttons and electrical over to this steering wheel. And that's gonna be by removing um, some of these from the back, some of these pop out, some of these plastic clips pop out. And then the rest of them get unbolted with these Torx bits here. Um, so guys, as you guys can see, we finished taking apart the steering wheel. These are all the components that come off, all the buttons, um, all the little plastic pieces. Right now we're removing the last retainer that holds the airbag in place. So you can see right here, it's this little, um, silver retainer right there this is pretty much what you push from the side with the pick and you want it to compress so you want this to come over this way well, in order to be able to get the airbag out so we already got one out so it's this one um you're gonna go ahead and compress this and go ahead and pull it down pretty much we're just gonna swap everything over to this steering wheel now um and it's all ready to be installed and yeah check out the steering wheel it got the sway with the flat bottom and the perforated leather on the sides really cool look to it um big upgrade from the stock steering wheel but yeah we're gonna go ahead and start we're gonna go ahead and finish uh, removing, removing that pin and slowly get over to this side all right guys so first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and pop in the uh, back panel that house out all the electrical so you're gonna be able to get all these cables in and connected after that you're gonna go ahead and put in these two lower uh accessory buttons and then you're gonna go ahead and just put this screw on this two sides and it's gonna be a smaller screw and then you're gonna put the two bigger ones on the down here on the bottom um, after you do that then you're gonna go ahead and pop in these side panels and then you're gonna start uh, bolting down these on the sides all right guys so there it is we finished up swapping everything over to the new steering wheel and check it out this thing looks really clean um, really nice with the uh, Alcantara and or suede and the uh, leather perforated sides. Um, yeah, everything pretty much got swapped over. All the uh, plastic trimming, all the buttons, the accessories, and the uh, silver pieces that go on the steering wheel. Looks really nice. Um, yeah, everything that's left in is just dropping it in, plugging in the airbag, um, this rear connection and then um putting in that 24 millimeter nut and yeah it's pretty much that's all it takes to swap over the steering wheel uh it will take you about 30 45 minutes to get it swapped over but yeah it's all done here it is we finished up this car got the uh, air lift installed front sway bar and the aftermarket steering wheel check it out looks really cool manny's about to do the calibration on the air lift system and uh yeah let the uh, gonna be moving up and down and uh, we're just time lapse for that we'll out for the first time
it is check it out the airlift kit is complete now everything's installed this thing looks so good check it out Fitment's pretty aggressive up front. Um, does rub a little bit. Rear. This thing looks so good. Check it out. All the way around. This is zero PSI. Um, yeah, that, this this blue looks really good with the black accents. And yeah, we got the uh, sway bars all installed. The airlift kit's all complete. Uh, steering wheels are in there. Be nice with the uh, Alcantara and the uh, perforated leather. We mounted his uh, remote right there in the center. We're just out here getting some pictures right now. Um, but yeah, this thing looks sick. Really love this blue. Yeah, he has the uh, Brembo performance pack in there. Uh, but yeah, it's all complete. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one.